The Tale of the Card, T-206 Hunnis Wagner by Steve Ains. The T-206 Hunnis Wagner. The T-206 Hunnis Wagner baseball card features the Pittsburgh Pirates' Hunnis Wagner. He was considered one of the best players in what was considered the dead ball era. Hunnis Wagner played 21 seasons in the National League as shortstop for the Pittsburgh Pirates. In 1911, he won his eighth and final batting title, which is still a National League record. However, it was matched in 1997 by San Diego Padres' Tony Gwynn. Honus Wagner's nickname was the Flying Dutchman, based on his superb speed and his German heritage. Honus was born February 24, 1874. He died on December 6, 1955, at the age of 81. In 1936, he was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. The baseball card itself was designed and produced by the American Tobacco Company between the years of 1909 and 1911 as part of its T206 series. It is said that Wagner refused to allow production and distribution of his image on a sports card in cigarette packs either because he did not want children to buy cigarette packs or he simply wanted more compensation from the American Tobacco Company. The company ended production of the card, but produced between only 50 to 200 cards. The actual amount is unknown. The T206 cards were produced tens or hundred thousands of any other player. The set was produced for three years and distributed in 16 brands of cigarettes. In 1933, it was listed at $50.00 in Jeff Jefferson Burdick's The American Card Catalog, which would be equivalent to $1,000 in 2020. The most popular T206 Honus Wagner was owned by hockey great Wayne Gretzky, which he bought it with Bruce McNall in 1991 for $471,000. Four years later, they sold it to Walmart and Treat Entertainment for $500,000 for a grand prize in a promotional contest. After being bought and sold several times through the years, Brian Siegel sold it to an anonymous buyer for $2.35 million. It was sold to another anonymous buyer for $2.8 million. In April 2011, it was revealed that the anonymous purchaser was Ken Kendrick, the owner of the Arizona Diamondbacks. Other T206 Honus Wagner cards, both legitimate and fake, have surfaced in recent years. Some of the real cards have sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars in auctions. One particular T206 Honus Wagner owned by John Cobb and Ray Edwards, has attracted media attention over its authenticity. The End Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment down below.